For day 18 of 30 days of sketches, I'm working with photos taken in Evansville, Illinois of the LST. This is a World War II ship. The day 18 sketch is by the Peace Craft Love YouTube channel. I'll post it here for the duration. And I have a lot of photos here. I'm going to stretch the sketch to a two page layout. And the sketch calls for three photos per page, but I probably will do more than that because let's see how many photos do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight photos, so I probably need four photos per page. And then for the page title, I'll use this postcard showing the LST. She's sailing on the Tennessee River here. For the embellishment on the page, I made this weathered looking anchor. This had been a chipboard that was bright pink, and I didn't think that would match the tone of this layout. So I just found a paper scrap and glued that on and painted the edges a little bit. For my papers here, I have this one that's perfectly themed. It's kind of a nautical map type of thing. And then I have these other papers, very pretty papers, but they've been in my stash for a really long time. The theming on them just never clicked for me. And as I was preparing this page kit, I thought, let's just turn it over. Let's use these papers. You could save them forever and ever to try to find an opportunity to use the themed side, but that hasn't happened. And so let's go ahead and just use this side. We're going to go ahead and get the background pages set up first, since that's what I have out. I like the sketch, how it kind of has a band behind the photos. And I'm going to create that with this pretty paper. I'm just going to tear it. I want both edges to be torn. These scraps I'll use for collage clusters. They will not go to waste. And let's go ahead and get these bands added to the page layout. Scrapbook confession of the day. For years, I searched and searched for the right scrapbook adhesive. I tried everything. I never could find the one for me until I got the Scotch ATG. This is my go-to scrapbook adhesive now. I can't tell you how much money I wasted on so many different adhesives I've tried. I wish I had found this sooner. I've been using it for a long time, many years, at least 10, probably more like 15 years. And I love it because the refills are super affordable, so much less expensive than any other scrapbook adhesive. And the gun itself is a little bit of an investment, but not as much as you would think. I'm an Amazon associate. I will link down in the description a link to a similar ATG adhesive runner for you as well as refills on Amazon. I do receive a commission for qualifying purchases. I like to be clear about that, but that's my scrapbook confession of the day. I've saved so much money since I've started using this ATG gun. And for many years, I wasted so much money trying different adhesives, and this is the one for me. I've decided to try to start doing scrapbook confessions for you guys because there are things you learn over many years of scrapbooking, and why not share them? And plus, some of them are kind of funny. I mean, comical. One time, an adhesive I was trying before I found my favorite, I accidentally bought the temporary adhesive 
and I did a bunch of pages and I blew through it in no time because I I was using a lot of it and then everything started falling off because it was temporary and I had no clue that I had purchased temporary adhesive. It was the worst. <laughs> the absolute worst. All right, this will be my page title. And I you know what? If you're curious about the LST, I will put some links to the LST down in the description. It was really, really cool to tour this. And they had a little museum where they talked about Rosie the Riveter and her role and about the history of Evansville and how they helped make so many of these ships. It was really, really interesting. So I'm gonna crop a couple of these photos because there's just a little bit of dead space and it will add some visual interest to the shapes on the page instead of using all four by six photos. It will be nice to have some different shapes here. While we're talking different shapes, I think I can, since I have Rosie represented here, this is kind of a display that includes her. I'm just going to punch a circle of this display and that will be another nice variety to the shapes on this page. There's quite a bit of green in these photos. The floor of the bunk room was green. There's a lot of green in my title postcard, so I've got a couple of green photo mats. I have to decide what photos I want to highlight here. I think this one kind of almost stands out on its own because there's a natural yellow frame within the photo. So I'm going to highlight this one. It really was amazing to see the lower deck of this ship where they had a ramp at the end and tanks and trucks would go off that ramp onto um, the beaches of Normandy and that was fascinating to see. It's so much bigger in person than you would imagine. And then I think I want to highlight Rosie because she's amazing. Hey, for this layout, I'm really kind of straying pretty far from the sketch. And you know what? That's okay. That is one of the nice things about a sketch. You can alter them and make them work for you. I really like this sketch. When I saw it, it inspired me to consider if I wanted to do some mixed media for the background, I totally could have. This is going to be a more traditional page for sure, and I like it. Let's go ahead and get things adhered. While I'm doing this, I want to let you know that 30 Days of Sketches is hosted by Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. And in the description of this video, I will include a link to Christy's YouTube channel, as well as a link to a playlist. There are so many creators in taking inspiration from these 30 Days of Sketches, and they all have different takes on the sketch. It really will give you lots of ideas. So check out that playlist to see what other creators are doing with these sketches. And there's also a really cool Facebook group where if you do a sketch, you can post your take on the sketch. So check out that Facebook group as well. Really cool stuff.
I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you have any questions, and I would love to hear what you think of my take on this sketch. I, re I try to reply to everyone's comments because it makes my day when I see comments coming through. It's, it's a lot of fun to share this hobby that way. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone. I just realized I forgot the anchor. I'm going to put it right here. There's a perfect spot for it.